to today's video. Today's topic is going to be signs that your guinea pig trusts you. And a lot of people ask this question and say, why doesn't my guinea pig like me? I don't think my guinea pig trusts me. So here are some signs to tell whether your guinea pig trusts you or not. Sign number one, your guinea pig recognizes you, your voice, or even your footsteps. A big sign that your guinea pigs trust you is they recognize you when you come in and don't always react the same way to you as they do other people. And this is the case with my guinea pigs. Um, if my mom comes in the room, then they all run and hide, except for Emmy. But if I come in the room, everybody's chill. Everybody comes out hoping for some snacks. So some guinea pigs are just really friendly and love everybody, like Emmy. And some are shy and just prefer to be with one specific human, like Misty. So, a big sign that your guinea pig trusts you is they know when you're supposed to come in, when they're supposed to feed them, and so on. And we're just going to catch Coco grooming herself because it's cute. And so, yes, a big sign that guinea pigs, your guinea pig trusts you is... Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what... I don't think that was me. I think that was Misty. I don't know. Hi, guys. I'm sorry if I did something wrong. Um, a sign that guinea pigs trust you is that when you come in, they come up to the front or peek out of their houses and hope that you're going to give them their favorite snack. Sign number two, your guinea pig doesn't mind your hand. This can vary depending on your guinea pig's personality, but if you put your hand close to your guinea pigs, your guinea pigs aren't disturbed by your presence and may even come to sniff it. Thank you for demonstrating, Emmy. If your guinea pig doesn't bother your hand, it means that they're not afraid that you're going to hurt them. And they're comfortable and they trust you not to do anything to them. And you are their favorite person and they are not bothered by your presence. However, if your guinea pig is shy and you reach out to pet like that, they may run away. But that depends on your guinea pig's personality again. This piggy has no fear. So, um, again, this depends on your guinea pig's personality, but a big sign that your guinea pig trusts you is that they don't, they aren't disturbed by the presence of your hand. Sign number three, your guinea pig pushes your hand away. When your guinea pig pushes your hand away, they're basically telling you, I'm not afraid of you and I'm not afraid to boss you around because that's what you're here for. You're here as my personal slave and you will do my bidding. And guinea pigs, when they push your hand, they're either politely asking you to move or trying to boss you around. In the case with many of my piggies, except maybe Misty, it is a very extremely bossy way of saying, hey, stop petting me, or hey, move out of my way. Misty does it as a gentle, just kind of like, hey, you're in my way, can you move? But Coco is just a full-on, get out of my way. And so... When guinea pigs push you, they're not afraid to make contact with you. And that's really good if your guinea pig's not afraid to lick you or give you a friendly nibble, which is not the same as biting, by the way, or pushes your hand away, then they aren't afraid of you and they're definitely not afraid to boss you around. Sign number four, your guinea pigs include you in your conversation. Now, some guinea pigs, when you enter the room, will start weaking. And this could be simply, hey, human, get me some snacks, or hi, we're so happy to see you. Why don't you join our conversation? In any case, it's good that your guinea pigs trust you enough and love you enough to include you in their conversation or invite you or demand you to bring them snacks. And a good sign for me that my guinea pigs trust me is that they are, like, comfortable with communicating with me and they're not afraid to boss me around which honestly it's so cute to see a two pound little tiny furry potato try to boss around a human that probably weighs about 40 times more than it but nevertheless it's so cute to see these tiny furry potatoes try to boss their humans around sign number five your guinea pig takes treats from your hand which emmy is not feeling the broccoli tonight, huh? You're gonna eat the crunchy part of the lettuce and run away. And Coco's gonna try to steal it from you. 
Anyway, sign number five, your guinea pig takes treats from your hand, whether that be treats or vegetables or fruit or really whatever. If your guinea pig's comfortable with taking it away out of your hand, then they're comfortable with your hand and comfortable being around you. And basically, they trust that you're not going to hurt them. And that's a really good sign that your guinea pig trusts you. I just want to remind you guys that if your guinea pigs don't fit any of these signs, don't be discouraged at all by this because guinea pigs are prey animals and it's really their nature to run and hide. So you have to give your guinea pigs a lot of time to just be used to you and be tame. Some guinea pigs take up to two years while others Coco's popcorning. Others take only a couple days or weeks. And it really just depends on your guinea pig's personality, right, Coco? This is about as close to her as I can get without her running away. She doesn't want to be pet. While Embers, I could scratch her for about five minutes and she'd just sit there in total bliss. It's really a difference of um personality so don't feel discouraged if your guinea pig doesn't trust you yet it takes time and you know misty isn't the most trusting guinea pig ever i've had her almost a year and she's she trusts me but not to the point of where i'm allowed to touch her and some guinea pigs just don't want to be touched and that's okay so we have coco and misty who just don't want to be pet and that's their personality and that's fine while Emmy, on the other hand, is always up for a good cheek rub. Right, Emmy? So these are a few signs that your guinea pigs trust you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe, like, and comment below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye!